when it comes to launching on your own, even a big boat like Strike Zone, yeah, look, it can be daunting, but do you know what? You follow the same process. So, tie down straps. Remember to take them off. I know it sounds silly, but people have forgotten. And of course, remember your bungs. And then the next thing you do, always assess the boat ramp. You know, it's one of those things, check which way the current's going, check there's no debris down there, and then it's time to launch. The big thing is to know how your boat and trailer operate. With mine, likes to sit on there pretty good. So, first thing we do is unclip. So it's all unclipped, including the safety. It's important to remember with different boats that they'll do different things. Some boats with a lot of rollers will want to slide, especially if the angle of the ramp's more. But in this case, it'll sit there perfectly. So once you're in the boat, the first thing you do is check behind you before you go into reverse. You know, there might be a swimmer, there might be another boat, there might even be a log. Now, the first thing you do is trim your engine down, but don't go too far, because if you trim down too far, you're going to hit the bottom. If everything's clear, put it in reverse, give it just enough revs that it starts sliding off. So, with the boat off the trailer, all we need to do is tie it off. Of course, you've got the fenders there as well. Tie her off. In this case, we really only need one because it's nice and safe and secure. Then, park the trailer and go fish it. <laughs>